We have some breaking news in AEW. The E definitely does not stand for extreme because the company have made a list of several moves and actions that are now either banned or restricted in AEW down to the company's new health and safety protocol. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling. AEW is cutting back on the weapons. AEW is cutting back on the blood and I'm probably sure right now somewhere John Moxley is crying himself to sleep because that's basically his match is over that is him screwed that is him finished all he can do is get hit in the forehead and bleed everywhere and now that is not going to be an option for John Moxley so Fightful Select have reported that several moves and weapons have now been banned or restricted so either they've been outright banned or you need to ask for permission from the higher ups until you carry out these moves so we're going to see what sort of impact this has on the company now aew have confirmed that this is legit although several wrestlers have claimed they don't know anything about it yet and that's probably because tony khan is too afraid to tell anybody i mean how is tony khan going to come up to john moxley and say oh yo john guess what 95 percent of your moves are now banned <laughs> yeah, exactly. That is because Tony Khan's afraid of confrontation. And I think if everybody were right, I think it's going to be John Moxley that's going to be affected the most by this. Absolutely. I don't see how any of his matches go. I mean, he, he blades during promos. Yeah, that's when you know you've took it too far. I thought Ric Flair was the worst blader in wrestling. I think John Moxley's arguably outdone him now. Yeah, no, I, at least with Flair, it was half the time it was accidental. Yeah, it's just the it's skin just... was that loose that. <laughs> The slightest contact was busting him open, but when Moxley is like he's using any excuse to kill it, uh, not kill himself, blade himself, he really should be called Emo Moxley. Anyway, it was noted in the document that banned things include, quote, unprotected chair shots to the head, shots to the back of the head, buckle bombs and blind moves backward into the turnbuckle, fencing responses, unnatural positions of arms following a concussion, seizure cells, spitting, bleeding in the crowd, weapons or projectiles in the crowd, taking drinks or food from guests in the crowd, or physical contact with the crowd end of quote so you can see they're cutting back on basically any sort of interactions with the crowd could this be something to do with mjf like a few months ago when he spat the drink into the or he threw the drink into the the kid i believe it had ice cubes in it it was an alcoholic beverage apparently and the mother was very upset i think it could absolutely i think but i would go as far as saying that that is almost crossing a line in my opinion, even though, you know, I, I'm edgy, man. I feel like for a company that comes out with all this woke ide ideology, that is like, almost like contradicting itself doing things like that. And we see it again and again and again. I know it mainly as MJF that's the perpetrator, but there is other examples. I feel like in the 80s, you could do something to the crowd and you would get away with it. In 2023, we, we live in a different world now where... Throwing a drink in somebody's face, if the person wants to be petty enough, they can sue you. Yeah. Whereas That's the problem the way AEW is. Tony can run it. See, this is McMahon and someone attacks a fan without genuine reason. Like, it's not like when Punk got tapped and Punk turned around and was like, what the fuck's that guy doing? Yeah, the only time anybody in WWE would ever attack a fan is if they jumped the barricade. Or if they were in the crowd and the, somebody was getting physical with them and it yeah. was to defend themselves. But... Taking a just no, doing my AMGF done definitely not. Anyway, here's a list of moves and actions that the company wants talents to have approved by coaches or officials. Now, we don't know if this also extends to MVPs, so the MVPs have to follow these rules. Well, can, how stupid, so so can, MV, can MVPs? Um, approve these moves that we don't know but it has to be approved by coaches and officials now, now we've got the icon sting having to go to like drew gulak to get a bit of blood approved so these are the these are the spots and actions so spots and bumps on the ring apron and outside I agree with that. I think I think that the power bombs onto the ring apron are dumb as fuck. Just not necessary. Hardest part of the ring. Anyone that's been in the wrestling business for years, anyone experienced, always say these spots don't add anything. 
because the majority of the crowd don't even realise that the edge of the ring is the hardest part, so you're basically hurting somebody and you're not even getting much of a reaction. See, see when they used to do this, like when they first started doing it, I think there was a bit of a reaction, but now it's like a transitional move. Yeah, Every they, Daniel Bryan match, when he returned for the injury, featured a powerbomb on the apron. Yeah, definitely. And why? It was almost like a rib. It was like, let's try and fuck this guy up. See when Shawn Michaels did his back on the casket? Did they start smashing his back? No, I would have been... Every fucking spot on there. Tried to protect his back, but um, obviously wrestling's went downhill since then. Table, ladder, chair spots, in and out of the ring. Only allowed with padding. Damn. Padding. Any elevated spots outside of the barricades, dives and ladder spots on stage, around the arena and other places outside of the ring. All pile driver tombstone variations, including sit down drivers, inverted slash poison hurricane rana and inverted breakers. Poison hurricane rana as well, is this a snake? Uh, I guess this rules out that move that Omega took at Forbidden Door. Yeah, I'd that was. So. I would say that's a form of a pile driver. Did you see the other one that Will Ospreay did in some other show? He literally dropped the guy on his neck, and he had to check he was all right before he pinned him. Oh, but they're safe workers, guys. <laughs> Will Ospreay. High risk dives or top rope moves, including four fifty, six thirty, double moonsaults, <laughs> SSP, etc. Intentional bleeding of any sort, not just blading. Damn. That's mad. So any sort of intentional bleeding, so I guess even you can't bleed internally or right. whatever, any sort of blood has to be approved by coaches slash officials. Throwing people into, through, over the ring steps. Commentary table, bell table, or guardrails slash barricades weapon usage. This must be, this is, I wouldn't say this is AEW, this must be like TNT coming in. And saying this, no, but that, I mean, you, we can laugh and joke, but this is this would affect a lot of matches. I think, like throwing someone into steel steps, this was Mick Foley's gimmick. It's like when Mick Je Foley did this every match. I know, but it's like when Jericho got the pizza cutter out, and there was a Domino's ad for. <laughs> <laughs> Not that they went for that, but that was funny. Uh, cheers, pipes, candlesticks, hammers, ring bells, bats, chains, etc. Title belts. So Jericho has a bat. Sting has a bat. They need to get improvement before they use that hammers i mean should you really be using hammers in wrestling see triple h he got away because he was the cerebral assassin he was a bastard and jim and jr let you know that you bastard triple h it's like but the, the average person shouldn't be throwing hammers and swinging sledgehammers at people no absolutely triple not. h did it because he was a fucking evil yeah and, and, and but that's the thing in aw there's just there's no concept of like who can use weapons it's like is it all these moves that they're banning here? This would work if they weren't transitional. Kendo sticks. I'm not too sure if I agree with kendo sticks. I mean, kendo sticks are. I mean, they're, they're, they're sore, but I don't Welps. think they're. I don't, I don't think they're dangerous. I don't think they're life threatening or career threatening. No, but I don't think you're really going to get a serious injury for a kendo stick. You'll get sore. Yeah, you can get definitely get a sore one, but I don't think you're going to get anything serious happening. With a candlestick strike, but who knows? Thumbtacks, skewers, barbed wire, and other sharp slash puncturing objects, powders, aerosol sprays, or liquids. I mean, first of all, you shouldn't be using fucking any sort of sprays or liquids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the skewers, I, I I hate that fucking spot when someone's putting skewers into someone's fucking head yeah. and they're sticking and they're sticking at their head. And you see like a scalp peeling. Oh, no, we we do? don't we don't need to see that. I'm not gonna lie. I do enjoy thumbtacks and barbed wire if it's necessary. I think if the if the match calls for it, then I, I like those weapons as long as. I, again, I don't think they really need it for the head or the face, but I think taking a, a back body drop or a back bump into thumbtacks is fine. John Moxley has a bowl of thumbtacks and Jack Dean in one. That's a cereal, I right? fucking. Cereal. Uh, throwing any objects or chairs. So, okay, can't do that. Choking slash strangling with hands or a weapon or hanging spots. Well, I'll tell you what, Brody King posted Big Boss Man hanging on his uh, Instagram and he said all cops. So is he going to get... I fucking hate Brody King, I'd batter him. Square it, go. Is one he, on one. Is he going to get in trouble for this? No, he's not. He's going to get praised, pushed. 
Injury spots or angles, whether or not medical is involved slash called to the ring. Damn. Any physicality in the crowd or crowd brawling. So you can't go to the crowd now without getting it approved. This just seems like way too much. Any this is the sort of thing, right, where they would bury Vince McMahon for. Oh, he's too controlling. Let the wrestlers have freedom. And last but not least, any physicality involving referees, managers, extras, celebrities, or special guests. Well, there you go then. That is the whole thing knackered. So, I mean, you take all this stuff out of matches, then, you know, you're, you're basically crippling the current AEW product. However, I would be shocked if these rules apply for everybody. I think the likes of your elites, I think your Moxleys, I think they'll just continue on as normal. And I think these rules will simply just apply for people that are lower down the card. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Like, your action, Andres. Yeah. Your uh, John Wayne's, or well, Nick Wayne. Nick Wayne. It'd be interesting, there's no, there, there is, they haven't clarified any sort of punishment for ignoring these rules. So it would be interesting to see what happens. The next AEW show will be on Rampage. I'm going to assume maybe these rules have been implemented by them. Who knows? <laughs> we'll, we'll have to wait and see, but realistically, this is something that will either happen or disappear after a week. That's what I'm going to predict. Uh, to, me it's, to me, it will actually make the product better. It will it will be less cheap because we won't see blood. We won't see all these like high flying n unnecessary spots happening. I'm a fan of it, but I feel like there's some stuff that you could just let happen. Personally, it's like we're a fan of takeaways, but if you eat takeaways every single night, you're going to turn into a fat bastard. That's pretty much and it. And sooner or later, you're going to get sick of eating takeaways. And that's how I describe all these hardcore high flying spots. They're good when you use them. In small amounts, but if you're going to bleed every match, then bleeding just loses its appeal. No, it does. See, you like, seen the attitude there, man. You, you didn't really get blood all that often. Yeah, yet people say it's this barbaric error and all this shit. I mean, not really. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think down below. This is AEW's breaking news. These moves are being banned or restricted. And if it's actually followed out, then, of course, this is going to change a hell of a lot. So, we'll see what happens. We'll see if any of the AEW talent come out and speak out against this. I just can't imagine Moxley will be happy. It basically ruins his fucking matches. He's probably blading at the thought yet. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it. Catch you in the next one. Been Fog Wrestling. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below. And peace.